let's try to find the area of regular polygons. So take a look at this problem right here. So we want to find the area of the regular hexagon using the given information. Okay, so the given information could be the perimeter, it could be a side length, it could be a radius, it could be an apothem, any of those things, okay? So in this case, we got the perimeter, so we have to do a little bit of work to start, okay? So because it's a regular hexagon, we know that all the sides have the same measure. So if the perimeter is 42, a hexagon has six sides. So we're just going to do 42 divided by 6, which equals 7, which means all of these sides have a length of 7, okay? Now, how we're going to think about finding the area is this. If we were to go to the center of the regular hexagon here, and we were to draw lines going from the center, oops, try my best there, to each vertex, okay, we will create six, one, two, three, four, five, six, triangles that are the same, okay? Six congruent triangles will be created by this. So let's think about this. We know how to find the area of a triangle, and because all six of these triangles will have the same area, if we find the area of one of them, we could then just multiply it by six, and that would give us the area of the entire hexagon, okay? So here's what I want you guys to understand is I don't want you to memorize a formula for finding because some, some of you might say, oh, well, there's a formula for that. There, there kind of is a formula for that, but we're not even going to talk about it because I want you to understand what's going on behind the scenes here. And what we're doing is, is that we're finding the area of one triangle and multiplying it by six because there are six in here, okay? Because what if you get to your test and you don't remember the formula for finding the area of a regular polygon? You're going to be like, Oh no, what do I do? So I want you to be able to understand where it's coming from, okay? So that you're able to find the area even if you don't know the formula. Because most of us know how to find the area of a triangle and we can even derive that if we forget by using a, a rectangle or a square, okay? All right, so let's talk about this. So I'm gonna talk about this one right here because I think it's the easiest one. Now, there's something I wanna say. If I were to drop an altitude here, okay? It's going to bisect this side, so I know that each side here will be 7 over 2, okay? And if I know the whole thing is 7, okay, I just need to find the height of this triangle, because if I'm dropping an altitude, it's going to hit at a right angle, okay? If I can find the height of this triangle, I'm going to be able to find the area of it, okay? And then, of course, find the area of the entire hexagon. So how do I find this height? Well, let's think about this triangle and what, what it is. We know this angle is 90, but look at this. Because all of these triangles are congruent, we know each angle here must be the same, okay? And what is it? Well, if you think about it, there are, if we go all the way around the circle starting here, there are 360 degrees, right, around that circle. And there are six angles in, in that 360 degrees, okay? We have six angles, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, and they're all the same measure, okay? So if we take those six angles, we'll call it A, okay? So if we take the measure of one of the angles, multiply it by six, we should get 360, okay? And so we're just going to do 360 divided by six, okay? And we end up with A equals 60, okay? So we know that this angle here measures 60, the whole thing. So I know I'm kind of running out of, it's hard to see. Well, I'm just going to point to it. This angle is 60, okay? Now, I'm going to erase a little bit of this here so that we can see a little bit better, okay? So we're looking at this triangle here. Now, when we dropped that altitude, okay, because we created, okay, an isosceles triangle, okay, we know that we bisected this angle, okay? So that means that this is 30 and this is 30. 30, okay? Now, because it's getting kind of tight here, I'm going to pull this triangle out so we can see it a little better, okay? Pardon my <laughs> line there. Okay, so we dropped this altitude, and what we said was this whole angle was 60, but because it was bisected, that we had 30 there. Now, remember, we know that this is 90, okay? So then this must be 60. And look at that. We've got a special right triangle. We know 
if we know one of these uh, side lengths, either the hypotenuse, the long leg, or the short leg, okay, that we can find the other two because it's a special right triangle, okay? So we do know one of them because look up here, we know the whole length of the side is seven, so half of it is seven over two, okay? We know this is our short leg, so if we want to get to our long leg, all we're doing is multiplying by root three. Okay, and I have some videos on this that you can check out if you're not familiar with special right triangles. All right, now if we want, we could get the hypotenuse, but wait a second, we don't really need the hypotenuse, right? Because our goal, our goal is to get the height of this triangle. Okay, that's all we need. We need the base and we need the height, or we can think of it out here as the base and the height, okay? All right, so I'm gonna erase a little bit here so that we have some more room, okay? Good, okay. So again, our goal, and I'll do it in orange, is to find the area of this triangle right here, okay? And if we think about it, I kind of pulled it out here, okay? So now, I'll even draw it again, just because, because we now have more information. So if we know, of course I can't get this out here, okay. So here's our triangle again, okay? And I'm gonna just, we know that the base here is seven. We know that the height, and pardon that it's not drawn to scale, but we know that it's isosceles here, okay? And we know the height is seven over two root three, okay? So we know the area for a triangle is one half base times height. We know the base is seven. We know the height is seven over two root three or seven root three over two, okay? So I'll just do seven root three over two, okay? So therefore we can find the area of this because, okay, we were able to find the height using special right triangles and that's all we needed. We had the base, we just needed the height, we use special right triangles to find it. So now we're just gonna plug it in. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna say that the area equals one half times seven times seven root three over two, okay? So then that becomes the area equals um, one times seven times seven is 49 root three over four, okay? Now remember, that's the area of one triangle, okay? So I'm just gonna color over stuff here. We got the area of this, okay? And that's going to be 49 root three over four. So we want the area of the entire hexagon, all right? So all we're gonna have to do is take this and multiply it by six. So the hexagon, okay, is going to have an area of six A, if we call this A, the area of one of the triangles, okay? So it's just gonna be six times 49 root three over four, okay? Now I'm gonna erase this over here so that I can kind of come back this way. Since I'm running out of room, I'm excited for when I get my new studio up and running and I will have giant whiteboards and this will never be a problem. Okay, so I'm just gonna erase that too. Okay, so now let's kind of take this and we'll come over here with it, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rewrite it. So six, I'll just rewrite it as times 49 root three over four. So here's the thing. I don't want to be messing around with huge numbers. I mean, I know some of you might say, oh, well, six times 49 isn't that hard, but you know what? If I can divide anything out right away, I, I want to. So I'm just going to put that as a two, and this is going to go to a three um, because I can basically factor a two over two out and then it divides out, okay? A two out and a two out and comes two over two and divides out, okay? So now I'm looking at three times 49 root three over two. So three times 49, if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what that is. Think about what's three times 50? And then you're gonna end up subtracting three from that, okay? So three times 50 is 150, minus three is 147, okay? And root three over two, okay? And that's it. That's the area of your regular hexagon. And then of course, because we were given units, we wanna do it properly, so it's gonna be centimeters, it's area, so it's squared. So the area of a regular hex hexagon with a side length of seven is 147 root three over two, and in this case it's centimeters squared.
there you go.